In 1858, Frederick Law Olmsted was given the opportunity to leave a legacy and his mark for generations to come in his vision of providing citizens in New York City a park that included winding paths, scenic views, and large spacious areas for people and families to gather. As Olmsted began, many felt the vision that he projected was unobtainable, and yet with his vision set to paper, people began to see and buy into what could be accomplished and the difference it could make for generations to come. Today, Olmsted's vision is alive and well, as Central Park is one of the most visited parks in the United States, providing a respite for those that live and work in New York, as well as those that visit this beautiful city. Olmsted's vision for New York is not unlike that of the Ogle Foundation's interest and many others in the Ohio River Greenway. Stretching over seven miles along the Ohio River, the Ohio River Greenway not only offers the potential for a park featuring winding, scenic paths, but offers the ability to celebrate and experience a rich history through the three river towns it encompasses. The following is just part of the visioning process that the Ogle Foundation has led and funded through the cooperation of the Ohio River Greenway Commission to refresh the master plan and to look at the Greenway as something more than a path, but as a linear park for all to enjoy. Starting from New Albany, area residents and city leaders have struggled with a flood wall that has separated them from a view of and direct access to the river. In addition, floods have always brought the city new challenges. The refresh vision includes an extension of the land area that includes replanting, taking what has already been developed and creating an esplanade that would run along the river, providing an inviting western gateway to the Greenway itself. In order to offer visitors a chance to experience local history of New Albany, several designated loops would be developed to encourage individuals to visit destinations such as historic Main Street or visit any one of the many restaurants that now call downtown New Albany home. To celebrate its river heritage, a pedestrian bridge that would begin at Bank and Main Street would make its way to the river for a spectacular view of the river that is over and above the railroad tracks and the flood wall. In addition, as you will see throughout the presentation, a signature gateway arch would be created with an internal gateway glow that would be unique to New Albany. Gateway arches, or sky piers, would occur at key entry points to the park within each of the communities. These elements bring a very unique and inviting aspect that will not only draw attention, but act as part of the signature brand of the Greenway itself. Interest in connecting the western part of the gateway to Louisville from New Albany was very prevalent. One idea was the possibility of creating a gondola or alpine type car or tram system that would travel over the Ohio River to Louisville, either to the Shawnee Park area or to Portland. The tram would hold 30 or more people, providing a unique way to travel across the river while also offering some spectacular views. Moving east, we find ourselves at Loop Island Wetlands. Once a tannery, Loop Island is now a protected wetlands, featuring a myriad of wildlife, such as beavers and a wide variety of bird life, as well as a huge grove of large tulip trees. The refresh provides for a floating walk bridge, allowing you to walk and be up close and personal with nature while also providing an exciting view of the river from another pedestrian bridge that will take you over 50 feet in the air, among the treetops, and along the river for a view and experience unlike anything east of the Mississippi. From Loop Island, we move into Clarksville and one of the key areas of the park, Grand Park. This area, currently the home of an old quarry, an overrun junkyard, and basically underused land, will provide the opportunity to develop a grand park spanning over 500 acres of green space, water features, parking, camping space, and much more. As we move from the grand park in Clarksville, we move down to an area that is the home of Clark's Cabin. It is in this area that the refresh plan hopes to address the severe erosion that has happened over the years just below the falls. 
placing large gabions, large rock basket type structures, to where the shoreline used to be, will help take the blunt of the effects the current has had over the years on the shoreline, while also creating a calm pool along this area of the river. From Clark's cabin, we continued to move to the falls of the Ohio State Park, which celebrates thousands of visitors across the world every year, but is rather difficult to access from the Greenway. Here, another gateway arch and pedestrian bridge lead down to the center and directly over the river for a spectacular view of the falls, the river, and wildlife. As we continue to move east, we find ourselves in a place that most are familiar with in the southern Indiana area. In fact, it is the best and most featured view of Louisville, Kentucky, Ashland Park. The refresh envisions an extension of the park, reclaiming some of the riverbank and providing more room for family picnics and gatherings, as well as an extended view of our neighbors across the river. As we move into Jeffersonville, the Greenway then expands upon efforts already in place to connect paths along the river, just below the restaurants and to the marina currently underway, as well as becoming a gateway from the east into the Greenway via the railroad bridge connection. Finally, another overlook and unique gateway arch headed to the river from Spring Street with a water feature to celebrate the reason for the street's original name completes the initial refresh vision. So just imagine unique and lit paths and scenic views that one could see from the Louisville shore or while boating on the Ohio River. Imagine a way to come across the Big Four pedestrian bridge in Jeffersonville and travel over seven miles to enjoy wildlife, nature, and history. Imagine walking, biking, canoeing, kayaking, camping, or enjoying three music or festival venues in one weekend. Imagine experiencing great food, historic tours, and art along the way that celebrates the rich river history and culture that is vibrant and alive today. Finally, Imagine our grandchildren and their children enjoying such a park just as Olmsted envisioned with Central Park. Such is the vision we have presented in this brief video. The next steps are up to you as well as those in leadership. We challenge you to protect and preserve our river history by not only adopting this new refreshed master plan, but helping the Commission in taking the next steps in developing the funding and leadership needed to develop the Ohio River Greenway Park.